right, I have kind of a weird thing here, everyone. This is not a full game. This is just a highlight of uh, a funny, weird situation that came up today in, in a casual game of Netrunner. So this is a quick video. Just I, I, I hope you appreciate this. I have at, uh, Adam playing on the right, Jared playing on the left. Jared's going to explain the situation, what has happened in this game so far. So go ahead, Jared. All right, so I'm playing uh, Corp on the left, which is uh, Sync, which... Uh, they have a flip ID, but the side that's up right now is the runner uh, has to pay three credits if they want to clear a tag instead of just two. So it's an extra tax. Um, Adam on the right is playing Sunny, which uh, she her she has no ability, but she starts out with two Link. Um, so we've been kind of going into the game where uh, it looks like Adam is sitting there on four points. Um, I'm sitting there at uh, six points. So, um, you know, this... The Indian deck I'm playing is pretty light on ice, so it's been kind of, uh, uh, you know, he's been kind of uh, scared to run a lot because of uh, all the tag punishment. Yeah, and the difficulty of clearing the tags. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so he, he just played a vamp here. Uh, so he's he's taking your money. Did he use his, what's the name of that? Console security clearance? Uh, or? Security nexus, I think. Security Nexus. So he it looks like he used it to, to bypass the... Yeah, so what that does is that initiates a trace, and then uh, the um, if it's successful, or if the runner beats the trace, then they get to bypass the ice. So he bypassed the okay. Data Raven, preventing you know getting the tag. Um, but instead of um, beating him on the trace, I let him go through so that he had to spend the vamp credits to actually make me lose my money. And he did that, and then he it looks like he cleared the tag for three credits at the end of his turn, so... Uh, let's see what. So, what is this right here? Okay, so this card is called 24/7 News Cycle, and it allows you to forfeit an agenda um, in order to trigger the win scored ability of another agenda. So, what I used it there was I forfeited um, one agenda to trigger breaking news, which gave him two tags. So you have he has two tags. You just took a credit, and then you played All Seeing Eye. Yeah, which All Seeing Eye is a new operation. card. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a new operation that um, it costs one, and it says uh, play only if the runner is tagged and trash all resources. Um, the runner can remove one bad publicity to prevent that. But I didn't have any bad publicity there, so he couldn't prevent it. And so he lost his, his same old things, and he lost his underworld contacts, which are two really important economy cards at this point <laughs> in the game for him. And um, that Jack Sinclair is another resource. Yeah, he just re remembered that goes away, too. Right. Um, what, what is the, what is the card farthest up on his mat? Is that the program that he has installed? Yeah, that one is. Um, I think that's the Century Breaker for um, Sunny. Oh, Shriek is it? Uh, Shrike. Yeah. Shrike. Shrike. Yes. And also, what's funny about that breaking news play with the twenty four seven news cycle is it doesn't like it doesn't uh, cause those tags to go away, right? So he still has those two tags from the breaking yeah, news. Yeah, because it triggers the win scored ability, which is give the runner two tags, but it doesn't trigger the the second phrase on there, which, um, you know, removes the two tags normally when you score it. Right, because you didn't actually score it, you just, uh, so it looks like he's deciding to go tag me. So he does have a Plaskreet down, and he's running into R&D here, so he, he, he's just going to take tags and let you... Yeah, and he's already seen um, the Scorches, so he knows that there's a... Uh... There's scorches. And he in takes here. another two tags there. Yep. So he hits a news team, which requires him to take two tags or um, suffer a negative one agenda point. And that is the game. <laughs> so yeah, the, the news team. Uh, if the runner is tagged, it's a three-one. And if the runner is tagged, then the the corp scores the the news team instead of the runner. Or, no, right? that's um that's uh, news team is the one that gives the runner two oh, tags. Oh, gives the runner two tags. Or they okay. take negative one agenda point. Uh, the other one is quantum quantum predictive. Um, Algorithm, algorithm I think? Maybe? Yeah. yeah. And that one is if the runner is tagged when they access it, add it to the corpse score area. So, oh, um, and you had three scorches in hand? Yeah, I had three scorches in hand, so <laughs> I was just kind of waiting for him to float the tags so I could just start blowing him out. Yeah. And he, I, I think he, I mean, it didn't work out for him, but I think he made the right call of just at that point. Like, what are you going to do? You have to just go tag me. And, and hopefully, he was sitting at five or six points, so. Uh, he just decided to go into R&D with his RDI and, and hopefully win it. And he just hit those quantum predictive algorithms and it and didn't work out. Yeah, sent it right over to the corp. That, that is such good tag punishment. That is, that's a very unique form of tag punishment that we haven't really seen in the game yet. So uh, that's, that's really interesting. So that was the game. That, that was, that's a little bit to, to comprehend right now with all these new cards. But this whole game was worse than that 45 minutes at this point. So I wanted to just... I wanted... It was so 
fun and weird what happened at the end there. I wanted to show that whole sequence, but uh, I didn't really want to do the whole game just because it was so long. So I hope everyone appreciated that. A uh, little clip show here of Netrunner. <laughs> Uh, th thanks for the, the little bit of commentary here, Jerry, oh, yeah, for, no problem. for catching everyone up. All right, uh, thanks, everyone. It's a little bit more from D&D. &D.